Hello, thank you for joining me. My name's David Charles, International Psychic Medium, and tonight I'm doing a psychic reading for you called All You Need Is Love. It's a love reading. It's a pick a card reading, and uh, it's a timeless reading, which means you can find it today, next week, or 10 years from now, it makes no difference. You'll find this reading when your spirit guides want you to find it. So, what I'm going to do is get you to pick a pack of cards. They've been shuffles, I'll do them a little bit more. And we'll have four stacks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And I'd like to say a big thank you to my subscribers from all over the world. And now nearly, I think, ni nearly 19,000 subscribers. And it's a bit of a celebration day because I've just passed three quarters of a million hits on my channel. So I thank you so much for that. And um, getting about two and a half thousand hits a day at the moment. So somebody's watching this so thank you now then what i'd like to do is pick a card stack that's number one two three or four and uh take your time pause the video if you like you can pick more than one you can have all four if you want to we'll do them one at a time and i'll put the time stamps below so that you can pick your stack without waiting you know watching all the others if you don't want to and uh if you'd like to subscribe please do so now and uh click the bell icon and you'll be notified every time well, YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video, which is usually about once a week when the COVID's not about. Uh, so it's a timeless reading, so you can find it today or whenever you want. And if you chose number one, we'll start with that one and put two, three, and four over there. And uh, so there we are. If you pick number one from these hundreds of cards, and there are hundreds of cards on the table, if you pick this deck, then there will be messages in here for you somewhere. They may not all resonate with you. But take in what does, ignore what doesn't. And at the end of these six readings, uh, four readings, I'm going to give you six lucky numbers after each reading. So there's four lots of six lucky numbers for you to use with lotteries and that sort of thing. Gamble sensibly, of course. And I'll be using some oracle cards as well. So this is called All You Need Is Love. So it's a love reading. And it's a general look at um, the next 12 to 14 weeks from whenever you find this reading today or well, it's today, wherever you are. The negatives first. Well, there aren't many negatives, really, in the reading. But the, some of the negatives here relate to possible confusion around your career. Maybe some of you are looking for work. Maybe it's not to do with love, of course, but I've got to tell you what I pick up. But there may be some confusion around your work in life, and people at work may be causing trouble for you, so watch out. There may be somebody at work that's uh, annoying you or driving you a bit mad, and getting on your nerves so if you can avoid them do so but don't misinterpret it because sometimes people don't really mean it that's the message here um, but things are pretty level I mean as far as the love life goes it looks very good indeed there's a few positives and a few negatives on a separate subject there's money coming your way and uh, if you're expecting some money well it may be the lucky numbers stick around don't go without your lucky numbers there's two messages of money in this reading, as you can see by these pentacle cards. That's the four of pentacles. He's sitting on the money, which means if you get some money, sit on it. Does that tell him you can be sometimes a bit, well, inclined to let it go too easily or be too generous. So it's not a love thing, but I'll tell you everything. But love is in the reading. Now, it appears to me that you may meet somebody new because a lot of you are coming to the end of an era. As you may have noticed the death card here. If you can see that, if you're on a tiny phone, you may not be able to, but the death card means not death. It means the end of an era, the end of a chapter of your life. You're reading it like you've got a book full of chapters. It could be 10 or 20 chapters. There could be 80 odd. We don't know, do we? But um, you're coming to the end of one of your chapters now, and it can be sad, but it's also very exciting because a new era is coming, you're opening a new, an exciting chapter. This is about love because it's a love reading. So the rest of your life may stay pretty much on the way it's been going, but your love life, a lot of you out there, number one, is about to change. And it's changing with a new lover. As you may see, the Ace of Cups there, and that would be the Ace of Hearts in an ordinary deck of cards. And hearts mean love and cups mean love. And this one, of course, if you see that, is overflowing. So you may be overflowing with love. It appears to me you may meet someone with a possible age gap. Not a certainty, 
but there may be an age gap. I'm not sure which way round it is, but that's not a problem. You don't fall in love with an age. This person that you're about to meet, if you haven't met him, you may have met he or she recently. It could be a lady. But um, this person is the kind of person that wants to sweep you off your feet, who drive you wild with passion and desire, wants to take you all over the world on cruise liners to Barbados, Hawaii, New Zealand, all over the planet. He probably will never do it, but he's a bit of a dreamer, he's a romantic, and he wants to impress you, and he wants to treat you like a gentleman or a lady, whichever you are. And uh, he or she is looking like a new lover if you allow them in, because there is an if, and there's a but, of course. Because like most people in this world, you've been hurt in the past, a lot of you, number one, and that can make you rather defensive. Not too much in this reading, but it will come up in the others, I'm sure. But there may be some medical things for you to mess around with. That can be just medical checks, or you may be having injections, especially at the moment when we're recording this, it's COVID time. So there may be some injections going on. There's also a lot of psychic activity around you, number one. Your angels are around you, probably now as we speak. The angel messages are coming through very strong here. I'm picking up messages from my spirit guides about a new love. And if this is not a new love, number one, let me know in the comments. It will be a new love with someone you already know. In other words, your love is rekindled and it starts again like fresh. So you're rekindling the love you already had for someone. I do keep picking up the slight age gap and I do keep picking up a bit of a dreamer. Not a bad thing. Everybody needs a dream. If you've got a dream, don't lose it. Keep with it. But there's money coming, there's medical issues, nothing serious. There may be checkups. It can be midwives as well, I've got to say. There's no pregnancy in this reading, which makes a change, because there nearly always is. But there is a medical thing possibly going on, or it could be a dental job or a bad back or something. I'm picking up um, some backache for some of you as well, particularly the lower back, and possibly some of you around the neck. So maybe have a stiff neck or something. But a lot of this is good. A new lover is predicted, or an intensification of an old love. Lots of travel indications here. Lots of indications that things are about to take off. If you're doing new projects, then they're about to take off. So it may not be linked to love, but it could well be linked. The two could be together. Maybe this new person is linked to some part of your career or your hobbies. Could maybe meet him or she down the gym. But it's looking good. But I want to take a look at a couple of Oracle cards see if they back up what I've told you here. But you're coming to the end of an era, number one, and it's exciting time. Can be sad, but very exciting. Don't go without your lucky numbers. We do four oracle cards, and they've been shuffled. This is an air car. Let's have a look at this. I need my glasses for this. The, the old uh, eyes are getting old now. Meditate on your decision, and the right answers will come to you. The right answer will come to you. Trust it. So meditate on your decision. So if you're making a decision, number one, think it over, maybe sleep on it, and the answer will come to you should you go ahead or not. The way the reading looks to me, <coughs> I think most of you should go ahead. Not all of you, but the reading indicates to me a brand new start and a new chance. You may have had it rough in the past, so a new chance is coming. Don't be daft and reckless, but go for it if you can. Grasp it with both hands, because you could get swept away like a whirlwind. There's a lot of goings on in this reading. And um, it may be time to, for you to take a deep breath and get ready because you're about to jump on a, a stagecoach full of horses that are going to pull you very fast into a, a, a bright future, I think, especially around your love life. Let me know in the comments. I really love to know down there. And uh, I try to answer as many as I can, but I do get quite a lot now. So I do read every single one of them. This one's a water card. This one's saying to you, you might be able to see that, maple leaves, I think, on a, a rain-soaked window pane. Missing out on an opportunity? That's a question. Open your eyes to the possibilities. So it's backing up what I've told you. Are you missing out on opportunity? In that case, don't. Open your eyes to the possibilities. So you need to look around you, number one. See what's going on and try to allow yourself to take a bit of a risk. But as I said, don't be reckless. I'm sure you know what I mean. 
If you want a proper reading, a personal reading with my team, my website is davidcharlespsychic.com and they'll deal with you and help you straight away from anywhere in the world. They work 24 hours a day and I only employ the best, so they're good. This one's an earth card. Butterflies on clover, how beautiful. I'm shaking. I must be playing the piano too much. Good things will happen when you give yourself some of the love that you give to others. So, what it's saying to you, number, number one, is love yourself. Good things will happen to you when you give yourself the love that you give to others. So you're a loving, kind person. Most of you. As I said, it won't resonate with all of you. One more oracle card, and it's lucky numbers time. And then we'll do number two. This one's saying, can I do this? That's better. An air card. Keep an open mind and heart. A blessing in disguise will arrive any day. So something could come along, a blessing in disguise, and you may think, oh, this is awful. But then a bit later, a week or two, maybe three, you realize that it was a blessing in disguise. So things may come along that are cloaked in mystery and in disguises. Be ready, be aware, be ready to take a chance. One more oracle card and look in numbers. No, I've done four, I beg your pardon, we've done four. So, let's take a look at the lucky numbers. These lucky numbers may be familiar, they may be birthdays or wedding days or divorce days or the day you had your baby. Um, they were chosen by me with my spirit guides just before we started filming this evening. And there's six, six numbers, you don't need to use all six, just use two or three of them and some of your own, mix them up a bit but they're here for you to help with lotteries and casinos, but please gamble safely. Don't get us all into trouble. And your first lucky numbers, number one, are number two, number seven, 14, 23, 29, and 41. Do they ring any bells? I'll give them you again, two, seven, 14, 23, 29, and 41. Let me know in the comments if you think they're familiar. And let me know in the comments when you win the jackpot, because this time next week, you could be a millionaire. And uh, I won't tell a soul, just put it in the comments down there. Thank you for watching number one. We'll get ready for number two. And uh, thank you so much. And consider subscribing if you haven't done so, and give it a like and share me with your friends on social media. They may like a, a psychic reading. Remember, wherever you are, remember my motto, number one. Think lucky, and you'll be lucky. Think love, and you will be loved. And I love every one of you. Take it easy. Catch you later. Stay cool. Bye-bye. Hello, thank you for staying with me. If you chose number two, this one is just for you. Let's take a look. As I said, it's a timeless reading. This means you can find it today, next week, 10 years from today, you'll find this reading when your spirit guides want you to find it. And as I said to number one, if you've chosen these cards from these hundreds on the table here, then there will be a message or more than one message in here for you somewhere. So stick around. It won't all resonate with you. Take in what does. Ignore what doesn't, or pick a different deck. You can have all four if you want. Or have a re reading with my team on the internet, and you can have it on a telephone. Not on the internet, the website's on the internet. And the website is davidcharlespsychic.com, or David Charles Psychic Limited. And I have many readers working for me, and I only pick the best. So they will help you right now if you want a reading on, in private on the phone from anywhere in the world, davidcharlespsychic.com. This is called, this reading is called, All You Need Is Love. So, of course, it's a love reading, and we're going to tell you, my angels and myself, are going to tell you the negatives first. Some of it's not about love. I'll tell you everything, of course. We can't just do love, because love entails, well, it, it involves the whole of the life, of course. But stress is your, one of your big negatives. There's the hermit. 
if you can see that, if you're on a tiny phone, you may not be able to see that. But the Hermit from the Major Arcana often indicates the need to rest, to take it easy, that you may be working too hard or stressing yourself out. Stress comes in most readings these days, but it looks to me as though you're overdoing it, number two, some of you. It can also mean that you're a bit of a worrier and you're worrying about things that you can't change. Somebody once said, if you worry about it and it helps, worry about it. If it doesn't help, then don't do it. Easier said than done. We all worry at times. But don't worry about things that are unnecessary if you can't change them. That's the message. Get your stress levels down because there, don't, there doesn't seem to be any holidays or travel going on in this reading at the moment. So you may need to chill out in the country that you're in. You also have the Devil card here from the Major Arcana. You may see that. Lovely card, a couple that are almost chained to the devil. But the chains are loose, okay? Which means they can break free at any moment. And the devil card means that you're about to be tempted to do something that you may not normally do, you're, or you're being tempted. But the chains are free, you can break free, you don't have to do it. You can walk away. It often means romantic things, doing things you may regret in that way. Make sure that you're not being used for that sort of thing, or you know, for temptation purposes. Don't be tempted to do something you'll regret. I'm sure you know what I mean. But stress, these are your negatives. Stress that can be removed if possible. Possible temptation, and the temptation may be linked to the Three of Swords. Three Swords going through a heart, which then signifies quite often, because the Three of Swords would be the Three of Spades in an ordinary deck of cards. The Three of Swords indicates possible three people in a romance. So make sure that you're aware of that. You may be seeing a married man or a married lady, or you may be seeing someone who is not free, or you may be two-timing somebody, being naughty. That's the temptation. The message in the reading is don't do it, but that's not a lecture from me. It's what the spirits are saying. If you're going to avoid temptation, please do so. Let me know in the comments down there. It'd be interesting to see. You can leave it anonymous, anonymous if you want to. But um, don't forget, at the end of this reading, there's six lucky numbers for you that could change your life forever. So don't go away. And we'll also be looking at some oracle, <coughs> oracle cards as well. Excuse me. Seems to me you're making hard work of everything. <coughs> Number two. You see this chap here pushing through these sticks, the ones. They're the clubs in a, an ordinary deck of cards. He's pushing through, he's making things much harder than they need to be, he or she. You may find, and I'm sure you'll know in the comment, you'll tell me in the comments, that you're doing things and making your life more difficult than it should be. And if you're in a triangle, that would, that would add up, of course, if you're in a lover's triangle. A triangle doesn't have to be lovers, by the way. It can be three people that are rubbing off against each other and giving friction. It could be a mum, a daughter, and and the cousin or something. It doesn't have to be three lovers, <coughs> but it usually is. So they're your negatives. You've got somebody who is about to give you some advice, someone you listen to, and they're going to tell you something very special. I don't know what this is, but if you're a lady, in fact, I think it's a lady anyway, it's an older lady, it could be a mother figure, it could be a mother, it could be a grandma or an old auntie or someone at work. But it's a lady that is not necessarily older than you, but she's certainly not a young person. And she's going to say something to you soon that could change things all around for you. So I'm not sure what that means. Let me know in the comments. But you may work with this lady. She may be retired. Maybe the next door neighbor. But something she says will affect you deeply. For the better, I think. Listen to what she says. It's important. Otherwise, I wouldn't be getting told about it. It could be a man. I've got to say, you're never sure with the sex with these things because we're all the same, really, in the eyes of the universe. We're not black or white, we're just humans. But um, it looks to me like a lady is about to give you some kind of message that could change your life in a very dramatic way, hopefully for the better. If it's someone you know, don't think, oh, I'm not listening to her, it's only so-and-so. Listen to what she says, or he, because it could be very profound indeed. So, there is um, a lady here in the reading, I think it may be you, number three, if you're a lady, and it looks like you're a good lover of animals and nature, 
and you don't like to see animals ill-treated, you may have a pet dog or cat or several of them, let me know in the comments. But it shows me that you're a person that's loyal. If you say to someone you're going to be there, you'll be there for them. If you say to someone that they can ring you and you'll help them, then you will. And people will do that and you will be loyal right all the way along to whoever you take in as a friend. But if they let you down, then you don't normally give them a second chance. But that tells me that you're a person that does what she says, that knows where she's going, or he, if you're a chap. You're someone that is reliable and people depend on you. It could be your own kids, it could be your family, your brothers and sisters. But people come to you. They respect you, number, th number two, and they love you. And if it's someone at work, they respect you. But you don't like to be messed around. You don't like people taking you for granted or letting you down because you don't do it to them. If that's not you, number two, it's someone you know. Let me know in the comments. Now, there's a couple of kids in this reading, at least two. You can see there, that doesn't mean there's two, but there could be two or more. But there's at least one child in this reading. So some of you are going to have a child or more than one. Some of you are moving house. Or, going back to what I said earlier, because I didn't think it was here, but there is movement that could be a holiday, so I got that wrong earlier. But there's movement in the reading, a lot of it's moving house. You may be trying to sell your house and having difficulty. Have a reading off my team to see if you can improve it. You may be moving into a place that's a little bit more away from noise and stress and troublesome neighbours, because some of you, I think, are having problems with your neighbours? Let me know in the comments. And the only way you can see out of that is by moving, uh, which is a shame, but there you go. You, if, you, if it means peace and quiet and peace of mind, then you may have to move. But sometimes moving is not easy, especially these days. But this is timeless, so when you watch this, it could be years from now. Things may have changed, but I don't think the housing situation will change especially if you're in England, where we are, in beautiful Devon. The housing problem is bad, but it's getting like that all over the place, I think. So stop doing things the hard way. These are your negatives. Watch out for stress. Stop worrying unnecessarily because it's keeping you awake. And if you're sleeping, you're not sleeping properly. Try not to be involved in a triangle with your love life if you can avoid it. And watch out for temptation. The positives indicate that a man if you're a lady looking for a man, or a man looking for a man, or it could be a woman, is about to make a serious romantic gesture to you. This could be an engagement, a proposal down on one knee. Let me know in the comments. There's something big coming, and it's coming soon. And it's to do with your love life. So I'm glad you're watching this. I've got here an offer that is a romantic thing from someone, if you're a girl, who will treat you nice. And he will treat you the way you should be treated. And that was pretty similar in number one's reading, so it's, it's a good thing, it's romantic time. The old fashioned romance. I'm picking up the Queen of Cups here. Now once again, this could be you, but I've got a feeling it's a friend, signified as a lady of beauty, passion, arty, probably musical, or likes the arts, or the theater. Possibly lives by the coast, as you can see she's sitting in a throne. By the, on the beach, well, by the rocks. This lady is very important. Let me know if you know who she is, because she is someone who will be a friend of you, of yours, almost to the point that you love each other like sisters, and that you'll be very, very close for a long time. You may have known her for years. Be interesting to see in the comments. So an offer's coming your way, a love offer. If you've got children, the reading predicts happiness, especially if you're moving house. If it's not a house move, then I see, I think that you're going away for a bit of a break somewhere. Somewhere rural, near water. It may not be the sea, it could be the Lake District if you're in the UK. It could be by a river. You may be camping somewhere. It's something like that where you're away from stress and it's about time because you need to. If it's midwinter where you are, then you need to go somewhere with a log cabin or somewhere warm. But it, it tells me here that you're needing a break, and I think you already knew that, some of you need to do this and, and get away from it, if you possibly can. So, what else have we got here? An offer, serious romantic offer, a very special lady friend, and I think you're a very kind, 
generous person number two, most of you. There'll be a few that aren't, of course. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget your lucky numbers. Before we do that, four oracle cards. Now these have been shuffled. I need the glasses for these. These are oracle cards and this is an air card. See if they back up what I've told you. Just, this one says, distract yourself with a creative pursuit and inspiration you seek will find you. A creative pursuit. What is it you like doing? Well, I know you like animals a lot. You could be something to do with walking the dog or breeding or something or maybe going to a show, dog show or cat show or something. It could be something for you to do. It could be photography or art or music. Distract yourself with a creative pursuit and the inspiration you seek will find you. You won't be looking for it, it will find you. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. And uh, I mentioned earlier, I've passed three quarters of a million hits on YouTube now. I'm very grateful to every single one of you to watch these videos. And, and please subscribe and click the little bell icon and the YouTube will tell you every time I upload a new video, normally once a week. And tell your friends, share me with your friends. This one is another, oh, it's an earth card. You may see that like a leaf over the water. If you're not on a tiny little phone. This one says, trust your inner strength and reap the benefits. So you have inner strengths. It looks like you're a bit psychic as well, number two, which I've just realized. So you may know a lot of this already, but trust your inner strength and reap the benefits. Of course, if you are psychic, then you'll have healing ability as well. And uh, you can tell me in the comments. This one's an air card. It's like they're flying above the clouds there, if you can see that. <clears throat> this one says to you, commit to being who you want to be and the rest will follow. So keep out of the triangles if you can. Commit to who you want to be and the rest will follow. If you're being too timed and you're in a triangle, you're going to need to get out of it. And I think that's what that's saying to you here. Be who you want to be for once. One more. Another air card. That's a nice one. Lovely fluffy clouds over a grassy meadow. Looks a bit autumny, autumnal. The divine is guiding you in your dreams. Are you listening? Well, I said your stress levels may be spoiling your sleep pattern, so you may be having some weirdo dreams that are probably waking you up. But if the dreams are repetitive, number two, if you have dreams that repeat themselves, that's the spirit world trying to get messages through and they're repeating it because you're not getting it. So watch out for dreams that are repeated. So the divine is guiding you in your dreams. Are you listening? Interesting. Tell me in the comments. Now I'm going to give you six lucky numbers chosen by me with my spirit guide, with my angels, before we started filming this evening. These six numbers could change your life forever. This time next week, you could be a millionaire. Let me know in the comments. I won't tell a soul. But... Please, if you gamble with these numbers, do it responsibly. Don't get us all into trouble. So, number two, your lucky numbers are, you may want to get a pen or pause the video because these numbers really do work. You don't need to use all six. You can use two or three of them and some of your own. Or you can use them all if you want to. But your numbers are, and they may be familiar, these. They may be birthdays or weddings, that sort of thing. Addresses you've lived at, maybe. Number three. 19, 28, 30, 42, and 46. Do they mean anything to you? Let me know in the comments. These numbers could change your life forever. You may use them in lotteries or casinos or picking for horse numbers or things like that. I'm not sure if that... Do they have numbers on horses? I think they do. Give me again number 3. 19, 28, 30... 42 and 46. Are they familiar to you? Let me know. If you win the lottery, let us know in the comments. We won't tell a soul. I'd love to hear that you won the jackpot. I really would, number two. Thank you so much for watching me. Please click subscribe. If you want a reading with my team, it's davidcharlespsychic.com or David Charles Psychic Limited. And my team are the best. I only employ the best. They'll read for you on the phone from anywhere in the world right now. They're open 24 hours a day. Thank you so much for watching. Remember my motto, number two. Wherever you are in this beautiful world, think lucky and you'll be lucky. Think love and you will be loved. And I love every one of you. Take it easy. Stay cool. 
catch you later. Bye-bye. Hello again. Thank you for staying with me. If you chose number three, this one is for you. It's called All You Need Is Love. And this is a timeless reading, as I mentioned, which means you can find it today, next week, or five years from now. It makes no difference when you find this reading. You'll find it when your spirit guides want you to find it. And if you've found this reading today and chosen this deck of cards, number three, with all of these hundreds on the table, then there will be a message in here for you somewhere, or maybe more than one. It may not all resonate with you, so take in what does, and ignore what doesn't. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing today. So, we'll show you the negatives first. It's a love read, of course it is, but um, I'll tell you the other stuff as well, because the whole of life is inter intertwined with love and with everything else. At the moment, there are a few negatives. To me, straight away, and we can mostly all say this, but you've been hurt by someone badly in the past, maybe more than once. So romantically, you've got a barrier up, which I think was a bit like that in number one's reading. And uh, this is much more, much more strong. It shows me that you're ignoring people. Even if they're good, you still don't really let them get close easily. They've got to prove themselves to you, number three. Because you've been let down in the past. May not only just be in love things, it may be in friendships or family people may have let you down. It's not always just love. But you've been hurt in the past, number three. Let me know in the comments. And you could say we all have, but not all of us have, but it may be that you have and it's made you rather defensive and you turn, tend to turn, turn away from things you don't like. So you may need to alter that. Now you have the tower card here. People falling out of the tower. Look, awful picture, really. It always frightens people. But the tower card isn't usually that bad. It's turbulence and it comes up in all of these readings, <coughs> it means turbulence that you're going to go through a bit of a shuffle up. Somebody may put you in a bag and shake it up and you go through a turbulent period and you probably are already going through it. Now I'm looking here 12 to 14 weeks ahead. So the turbulence, because it's a love reading, may be linked to your love life. That's what we're looking at. But we're looking at the other things as well. So there could be turbulence around you that could shuffle you up a bit, like these cards. But after a while... You look back at it and think, well, I didn't like it, but I'm glad it took place. So you're glad it happened. But it may be linked to a person. And if you're a girl, this is going to be probably a man that is arrogant, irritating, big headed, is that the right word? Is an awful bloke, really. And he may be in your life. Let me know if he is. He probably does a lot of traveling. He probably drives too fast. He probably breaks the speed limits. He's a bit of a know-it-all, really, and he's bad-tempered. He can be violent. Let me know if that's the case. This could be a lady, but it's very unlikely. I think it's a man. So I know a lot of you watching this are ladies, and um, look out for this person, because it's someone really you should avoid. And he could be the last person you really want in your life, but you may be stuck with him. Some of you may be married to this character, or maybe living with this character, and you can't see a way out. Let me know in the comments. If you want to find out, ring my psychic team, davidcharlespsychic.com, the website, or David Charles Psychic Limited. My team will read for you from anywhere in the world right now. They're on 24 hours a day, and I only employ the best. So look out for that. But these are your negatives. Turbulence, you may be going through a tough time, but it should improve soon. Don't worry too much if you can help it. Some of you are dealing with a law that could be linked to this man I'm picking up. It may not be, let me know in the comments, but there's dealings with the law for some of you. That can be solicitors, the police, or it can be an authority like the tax department. It's usually the law, and it may be that you're filling in or signing legal documents. Be careful what you're signing. Don't sign anything unless you've read it, and if you don't understand it, get someone who understands it to read it for you. It's very important. These are warnings in this reading. But it's not all doom and gloom, and these are the bad stuff. I'm going to tell you the good stuff at the end. And you've got the justice card here, which you may have noticed if you're into psychic stuff. You may see that if you're on a larger screen, probably not on a little phone. But the justice card means that you will get, number three, 
what you deserve. So if you've been naughty, you'll pay. But I don't think you have or you wouldn't be watching this. If you've been good, then you're going to get rewarded. If someone's been bad to you, though, justice will come to them. If this man's been bad to you, I say it could be a woman, but this person's been bad to you, they're about to pay it. And they're about to pay for it. And as I said, I think I said earlier, I'm looking 12 to 14 weeks ahead from whenever you find this reading. You could find it 10 years from now. I hope I've still got some hair left. I hope I'm still around. So, turbulence. You've been hurt in the past. You're fed up with it. But then we look at the positives. Now, if you're ready for this, and some of you may not be, <clears throat> but you're about to meet someone, again a traveller, but, I mean, these days everybody travels, don't they? But this tall, dark stranger type of person is coming your way. He may not be tall, he may not be dark, he may be stocky. But he is coming your way, is the king of pentacles. There he is. That, of course, would be the king of diamonds in an ordinary deck of cards. Pentacles are diamonds. And they normally mean money in that. So it tells me that he's got some money, he's wealthy. Well, he may not be wealthy, but he's certainly not skint. He's not going to work on a bike every day, on a push bike. Or a cycle, you may call them in America, I don't know. But um, he's well seated, he's well dressed, he's well groomed. He may be a businessman, and you may know him already. Now this person is available. Most people like that are taken straight away, aren't they? But he, he's probably been in a romance before, and he's ready now <clears throat> to meet someone, and it could be you, number three. Now this meeting, as I say so often, is not on a dating site. If you meet someone on a dating site, usually they go wrong because you're going to miss the one you're meant to meet. The spirit world will decide or have plans for you and who you're about to meet. So don't, my advice is, my opinion is, don't do it on a dating site because you may meet a person that's not suitable and you may miss the one you should have met. This person is fated, so you could meet him at the village fate at the post office in a local pub or restaurant, you could meet him at the gym. But it's fated, you will meet this person as long as you're not locking the door and staying in all day because you've been hurt so much. So allow yourself a bit of free reign, number three. Let yourself down, go a bit, not let yourself down, let yourself, let your guy, uh, guard down a bit, lower the guard a bit, let people a little bit nearer, but don't be irresponsible, don't get hurt again, in other words. Now, you may have seen this um, beautiful card there, Two of Cups. Now the Cups, of course, are the hearts in an ordinary deck of cards. And the hearts mean love. And the Cups hold love. That's why they're... That's what I suppose that's why they're signifying. Sometimes they're overflowing. But this couple are joining together in love. So it's not the arrogant, aggressive, possibly violent chap. This is someone else. And it could be the man I mentioned here, the King of Pentacles. If you meet the King of Pentacles, he may not be an old bloke, he may be quite a young person. He may be just mature. He could be 90, but the age isn't important. If you meet this person, and you may have already done so, it's possible that the two of you start off as just friends. So you may have known him a while already. This friendship could turn to love if you allow it, if you lower your guard a bit. I don't think this person is about to hurt you, as some people will. I don't think that this person's about to let you down, number three. So if you can fall in love, and it's a big thing for me to say, then allow yourself to do so. I think you've had enough of bad stuff recently, and well, for a while actually, and it's time you had some fun. It's time you had some karma. And this person, this man, and if you're looking for a woman, it could be a woman, obviously, but this person could be just the answer you're looking for. You may have noticed this one here. Celebration going on in there. And uh, they're dancing. Do you see that? This means to me that there's a celebration coming. Now that's to do with your earthly life. It's a wand. The wand cards, of course, the clubs in an ordinary deck of cards. And they're celebrating, which could mean that you've got a celebration linked to your work. And because it's called, this reading is called All You Need Is Love, then the work and the love thing may be tied. They often are, though. You get that in lots of readings. doesn't mean you, you work with this person, but you may c catch the same train as him or something like that. Or you may just meet him as he pops in and out of your workplace, he or she. 
Everything here is he or she. This favourite, it looks like a man, but it could be a lady. And then you have the three of cups. Again, cups, love, happiness. They're dancing again. There's a party going on. They're having a few glasses or something. This could be you. It could be a celebration of an engagement, a baby, a house move, a new job. But I think it's more likely to be a celebration to do with love and romance. That's what the reading is called. All you need is love. So that's going to be mainly what it's about. On a separate subject, this person here working away with the pentacles, which are, of course, diamonds in the ordinary deck. He's highly skilled. This could be you, number three. I think you've got skills that you're not using. And I think you're wasting yourself. And it's time that you started to realise how good you are at things. And you may be offered some work involving those skills. Or you may take up a hobby that involves using your skills, which is good. It will distract you from all the bad stuff you may have had recently. As I said, it won't apply to all of you, but some of you have been through the mill a bit recently, and it seems to be improving. And you heard it here first. DavidCharlesPsychic.com is the website if you want a reading with my team at any time from anywhere in the world. So if you have any comments, put them in the box, that thing down there. I'd love to hear them. I do read them all, answer as many as I can. Now we're going to look at some oracle cards and then your lucky numbers. Don't go without your lucky numbers. There are six lucky numbers at the end of each of these readings that could change your life forever. And this time next week, you could be a millionaire. Let me know in the comments. I won't tell a soul. I'd love to know if you do win the big one though. Oracle cards. We do four oracle cards, then your lucky numbers. The first one, and they've been shuffled, is a water card. Oh, that's a good shot, isn't it? I'm glad I want the photographer there. I'd have to have my water wings for that one. This one says to you, the deep blue sea washes away your cares and concerns. The deep blue sea washes away your cares and concerns. Now, of course, if you can get to the deep blue sea, don't get in it like that. <laughs> if you can get to the beach, do so. But it means that if you can't, then lay on the couch, imagine you're by the sea, put some nice soothing music on, and let things just, Take away all your worries and cares, number three. If you can't get to the sea, try and do it in your head. But if you can get to the beach and it's nice weather, well, even if it's not nice weather, you can walk the dog on the beach in the gale force wind. It's still beautiful, but stay safe, of course. But the sea can wash away your cares. And that's not in the reading for a coincidence. It, it's real and it really can happen. The next one is another water card. This one says to you, Trust your inner intuition, care for yourself and others. Trust your intuition. As I said, take a bit of a chance. Care for yourself and others. Well, you're a carer anyway. Some of you are in a caring profession, I'm sure. But trust your intuition and care for yourself and others. And one more, it's a fire card. And we're flying, looking out over a lake with a an angry looking sky there. Is it angry or just red? This one says to you, it's a fire card. You are sending out positive signals to attract new experiences. Now you may not you know, you know you're doing that, but you're sending out positive signals to attract new experiences. And all the readings I do, this card rarely comes out. I don't know why that is, but it rarely comes out. So are you sending out positive signals to attract new experiences? Number three, let me know in the comments. Please share me with your friends. Please join my subscribers. I said I've got over three, three quarters of a million hits on YouTube now with nearly, I think, 18 and a half thousand subscribers. Please join us. Click subscribe, click the bell icon, and YouTube will tell you when I'm uploading a new video. Now, I'm going to give you six lucky numbers that could change your life forever. Lucky numbers that you can use in lotteries, casinos, all sorts of things, gambling, but you must gamble safely responsibly don't get us all into trouble and this could change your life and I mean forever these numbers may be familiar they may be car number plates you've had or workplace numbers or house addresses or wedding days or divorce days anniversaries birthdays let's have a look I'll tell you what they are there are six numbers you don't need all six you can use two or three or you can use them all if you want to and they are number 11 24 27 33, 40, 
and 41. These numbers were picked by me with my angels, with my spirit guides, just before we started filming this evening. They could change your life. Just one more time. Number 11, 24, 27, 33, 40, and 41. Do they ring any bells? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you win the jackpot. I won't tell a soul, but I'd love to know that you've done it. And uh, a lot of people are winning with these numbers, so it's only a matter of time before somebody tells me. They don't always tell me when they win. But thank you so much for watching. And if you need a reading with my team, as I said, it's davidchildpsychic.com or David Charles Psychic Limited. My team are the best, and they can read for you on the phone anywhere in the world. Thank you for watching. Remember, wherever you are in this lovely world, number three, remember my motto, think lucky and you'll be lucky. Think love and you will be loved. And I love every one of you. Take it easy. Stay cool. Catch you later. Bye-bye. again thank you for staying with me if you chose number four this one is for you and it's a timeless reading and it's called all you need is love so timeless reading means you can find it today next week ten years from now five years from now you'll find this reading when your spirit guides want you to find it so I may be old and bold by the time you find this I hope I'm still around so this is a love reading of course but I'll tell you the other stuff as well all the negatives first and then we do the positives, and then oracle cards, and then after that, six lucky numbers for you that could change your life forever. So please don't go without your lucky numbers. They are very special. And they were chosen by me with my spirit guides, my angels, just before we started filming this evening. So stick around for your lucky numbers. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Let's tell you the negatives first, and um, then we'll do some positives. And there are some positives here, so it's not all bad. I think you've had some stress issues, but they're going now. Number three had pretty bad ones, but your stress, stress levels are going down. So if that's a negative, at least there is light at the end of the tunnel. And it's going down, especially if there's children around you. So, <coughs> sorry about that. Expect your stress levels to go down soon, number four. Another negative here is there could be a person around you who's hiding something. It looks like it's a man. If you're a lady with a man, then it could, well, if you're a man with a man, but it looks as though a chap in your area or you're surrounding you has got something to hide that he's not telling you. It could be a bit of de deceit going on. It could be your son or your, one of your family or friends. It's not necessarily a sinister thing, but there's something being kept from you that concerns me. So try and work out what it is. Let me know in the comments or you can always... Uh, Call my team for a reading if you want one. That's, my website is davidchildpsychic.com and my team will help you day or night on the telephone from anywhere in the world. That's David Charles Psychic Limited. I only employ the best. So if you need a reading with them, feel free. But somebody around you is hiding something from you. Number four, I don't want you to be paranoid, but try and find out what it is if you can, because you may need to know. Of course, I always say... Sometimes people hide things for your protection because they don't want to hurt your feelings. So it may not be a sinister thing. As I said, your stress levels are going down and you're guided at the moment. And this is not negative, but there aren't many negatives here. But you've got a man in spirit with you right now, most of you. It won't resonate with all of you, of course, this reading. But a lot of you are guided by a man at this very moment. A man in spirit. It could be an old relative, an old uncle, or an old neighbour that's gone, passed away. But they're with you. And you'll have many spirit guides, but your main one for most of you is this chap, this man. This man was respected and he was a, a calm, peaceful person. He wasn't an aggressive or irritating person. When he was alive on this side, he was a calm, collected, sort of, almost like a spiritual person. He may not have believed in it way back, but... That's what he comes over to me like. Let me know in the comments. But this man is around you and guiding you. It could be a lady. You never can tell for certain. But it looks mostly, for most of you, it's a man. So I can't really see any negatives. The only negative I've got here in the reading 
is we have a man here who travels, and they all do these days, I know, but this man, you may know him, is a womanizer. She likes the girls. Uh, and um, if you have a new romance with this man, you can almost certainly bet that he will be two timing. You at least will be looking at the other girls nearly all of the time. So be careful. It could it could also be that you're already in a romance with this person. So watch it, because he likes the girls, and he may be a bit irritating because he just never knows when to shut up. He's yakking all the time and <laughs> can get on your nerves. Now you have the lovers card here. This is not a negative. These are positives now. I really can't see any negatives here, really. The Lover's Card, you see that couple there? From the Major Arcana. The Lover's Card has several meanings, but mainly it means that you've got some decisions to make, number four. It can be that you have a new lover coming. It can be that you have two lovers, and it comes up a lot in these readings, that you have to choose between two lovers. You can't have both. Well, there are a lot of people that ring me do have both, but if you want happiness and peace of mind, you're going to need to choose between two lovers or you have a new lover coming. It could be one or both. And it means to me that the spirit world, your angels are saying to you, you're going to have to make a choice. Now I'm looking here 12 to 14 weeks ahead. So that's a time span. And you'll need to make some decisions about your love life. Let me know in the comments because it may be different to different people, but... It means that the decisions you make, number four, will shape your romantic situation for many years to come. So, you're going to need to make the right decisions. As I said, you can get a psychic reading with my team on davidchildspsychic.com. They may help. But um, if you have a child or children, they should help bring your stress levels down, which is unusual because they normally send it up. But that's what I'm getting here. Watch out for someone hiding things from you. Could be your son if you've got a grown up or an, you know a fairly older son, teenager maybe. It could be your lover. It could be your husband. But somebody is not telling you the full story. Doesn't necessarily mean they're lying to you, but they're keeping something back. And it, it does concern me in this reading. Usually it doesn't, but it does here. But your stress levels are going down, and I believe that there are a few positives here because this is called all you need is love. And I'll tell you now, number four. The spirit world tell me that you have soon, if not already, but soon coming your way is somebody that takes a fancy to you and you may already have somebody that's got the hots for you, put it that way. They fancy you. Any idea who it is? Let me know in the comments down there. If not, somebody's coming soon. You may get a strange bouquet of flowers out of the blue with no name on them. You, if it's near Valentine's Day when you watch this, you may get an unsigned Valentine's card, but somebody has got a crush on you and it's hurting them because they think so much of you. And it may be that they're a bit frightened to come forward because they know that you're married or you're taken or you're engaged. Or they may feel that they've got no chance because you're too good for them. And uh, that can stop people from coming forward. And it's a shame because years later they wish they had. But I think you've got a, an admirer who fancies you rotten, number four. Didn't matter if you're a man or a girl, that's what's in this reading. And uh, it, it's a bit, a bit of a shame because they may never tell you, so you need to work it out. Now you have the Empress here. Look at that, from the Major Arcana. Doesn't she look pregnant? For once tonight, it's not in every reading because it comes up so much pregnancy. But this card can mean, number four, that you're going to have a baby. Or you've had one or you're carrying one now. Doesn't always mean that. The Empress is a very nice card to have in any, any psychic reading. And it means <coughs> that things are growing for you. If it's love life and it's a love reading, then your love life is growing in the coming weeks and months, 12 to 14 weeks. Things are starting to take shape. There are rumblings, there are changes. Nothing dramatic, but subtle little changes in your love life that can make you just a little bit happier each day. And if you can get a bit happier every day, then after a few weeks, you'll find a big difference. Let me know in the comments. Watch out for the man who could be a bit irritating. Then you have here from the Major Arcana again, the fool. He's about to walk over the edge of that cliff. The dog looks at him like, are you mad? 
You may not be able to see that if you're on a tiny foam. The full card, of course, is the Joker in an ordinary deck. And the full card means don't leap over the cliff, but take a chance. It wants you to take a chance. It wants you to be adventurous, to boldly go where you haven't been before, as I said in that TV show. Beam me up, Scotty, <laughs> I think of that and all that stuff. Star Trek. To boldly go where you haven't been before. The, the spirit world are inviting you to take a risk. Don't be reckless. Don't leap over a cliff. I mean, metaphorically speaking, of course, but don't jump in without... Don't, in other words, look before you leap. That's the word I'm thinking about. Take a chance. An opportunity is coming your way during the next quarter, 12 to 14 weeks. Something's going to pop up, number four, that could change your life forever. It could be these lucky numbers that I'm going to give you in a minute, but something's going to change your life. And it would be a real shame to miss it. It could be linked to the secret admirer. I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments. I try and answer as many as I can, but I do get a lot these days. And um, I'm going to give you some oracle cards now and then the lucky numbers. But I say once again, thank you to my subscribers. I've got nearly 19,000 now and over three quarters of a million YouTube hits. And I do appreciate it. Thank you. And if you want to subscribe, please do so. Click the little bell thing, the icon, and you'll get notified by YouTube every time I upload a new video, which used to be once a week till COVID struck. It's been a bit less than that recently. But let's take a look at some Oracle cards and let me know in the comments who you think your spirit guide is. Because there's a big message about a spirit guide here. You see it by the Hierophant here from the Major Arcana. A lot of spiritual activity. It's a lovely card to have with you as well. It means that somebody's guiding you, and it means, number four, that they're looking after you as well. They're looking after you. So speak to your guides, they can hear you. It's frustrating for them if you don't speak to them because they can't always reply, but they can come through in your dreams. As I said to the last reading, number three, number three I think it was, watch out for dreams that are repetitive because repetitive dreams will reveal secrets about your future. If you have a dream that keeps getting repeated, the spirit world are trying to get messages through and you're not getting it, so they keep repeating it. Oracle cards, then you're looking numbers. Let's have a, I need the glasses for these. The first one is a fire card. They've been shuffled. And there we have a fire. Looks like it's over the sea. Sparks. Again, you may not see that on a mobile phone, but this one says to you, number four, you are experiencing enormous change right now which brings great blessings. So it's backing up what I've said. I think the change is subtle, but it's saying it's enormous. So it's going to be a bit more each day. It's so fascinating. I'd love to know what this is. Let me know in the comments, please. Amazing. I'll say it again. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. I think you've been guided to watch this reading tonight. And I'm so glad that you chose number four. You can have all the others as well. You can pick all four if you want. Or have a reading with my team. Another fire car. This time it is a fire. It's like someone's gone camping. I can smell the beef burgers from here. In America you call them hamburgers, I think. Anyway, harness, <laughs> harness your creativity, excitement and enthusiasm. Great things will happen. This is some reading, this is really. I couldn't find any negatives. And now these are all positive as well. Harness your creativity, number four. Excitement and enthusiasm, and great things will happen. Harness your creativity, excitement, and enthusiasm. Great things will happen. Take a chance, remember? This one is a water card. A lighthouse in the mist. I don't think I want to live there. Look at that. It's a bit spooky, that, like that film, The Fog. Remember that one? It's time to let go of the old and worn out. I can read that. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. It, all of this reading is about change. I think it's major, but it's subtle. So I think in 12 weeks, 14 weeks from now, you will have changed for the better beyond recognition. I'd love you to tell me in the comments if that turns out to be right. Read it again. It's time to let go of the old and worn out. That can mean people, of course, if the relationship's worn out. So that new can come in. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so new can come in. Let the new stuff in. Take a chance. One more. It's a water card. People have been building 
stone things, well, I can't remember what they're called now, by a little river there. Well, it looks a little. This one says, celebrate a community of friends or a happy announcement. Happy announcements. Celebrate a community of friends or happy announcements. Celebration is in this reading. As I said, there could be a baby. Are you trying for a baby, number four? If you are, it's a good time. As long as you're with the right person, of course. Let me know in the comments. But there's a baby in the reading, almost certainly a pregnancy. If it's not you, number four, it's going to be someone very close. If you're a mum, it could be a daughter or a daughter-in-law. If you're a young teenager, it could be your mum having another baby. But there's a baby around somewhere. Let me know in the comments. So, a fantastic reading. One of the best readings I've done for quite a while, that one. If you chose number four, you were meant to choose it. It is timeless and it's brilliant. Now I'm going to give you six lucky numbers that could change your life forever. You don't have to use all six. You can use two or three of them and some of your own. For lotteries, casinos, racehorses, that sort of thing. I think they have numbers. As I keep saying, if you're going to gamble with my numbers, do it responsibly. These were chosen by me with my spirit guides just before we started filming this evening. A week from now, you could be a millionaire. Let me know in the comments. I won't tell a soul, but I'd love to know you hit the jackpot. So your numbers are... <clears throat> I can read these now. You might want to get a pen or pause the video, and it's number 5, 18... 22, 32, 41, and 44. Do they ring any bells? They may be wedding days, birthdays, anniversaries, dates your kids were born, dates you had your divorce, <laughs> stag nights, hen nights, baby showers. They may be familiar car number plates, but they may not be at all, but they are important. I've given you one more time, number 5, 18, 22, 32, 41, and 44. These numbers could change your life forever. You could be a millionaire in a few weeks. Let me know in the comments. It's been lovely talking to you. Please consider subscribing to my channel and tell your friends and share me with your friends on social media. If you want to read with my elite team of the best psychics around, it's davidcharlespsychic.com or David Charles Psychic Limited. They can read for you 24 hours a day from anywhere in the world on the telephone. And they're there now. Thank you so much, and I, I'll give you my motto before you go. Remember my motto, number four, wherever you are in this beautiful world, think lucky, and you'll be lucky. Think love, and you will be loved, and I love every single one of you. Take it easy. Stay cool. Catch you later. Bye-bye.